In the next launch window, inching closer for NASA's inaugural Artemis One moon mission. In fact, take a live look here at the Kennedy Space Center. As of right now, it's a go for tomorrow after those technical issues forced Monday's attempt to be scrubbed. NBC's Jacob Ward is here with the very latest. So, Jake, let's start with what happened on Monday. Yeah. What more do we know about what caused that mission uh, to get paused? And, and how confident are they that they are going to be able to launch tomorrow? Well, NASA engineers essentially identified two problems. One was a possible hydrogen leak, and the other was the fact that the engines, which run on hydrogen, as you know, simply weren't staying as cool as they thought they needed to. It turned out in the end they were actually functioning perfectly. It was just that a sensor was broken. And so they say they've now got both of these things resolved. Now the question is weather, of course. The projection at this point is that about uh, the, the uh, possibility of scattered thunderstorms across the state uh, may make it roughly a 60 percent chance of going up. But they think that they have the technical problem solved, and that's what they were most worried about. So then with that said, what's the plan and timeline going Going forward, if they have to scrub it again. Well, I, you know, Tom Casella was talking earlier about, you know, running for the airport, uh, you know, right after the Today Show. That's what I'm doing to get down there. So I'm really hoping it goes forward. <laughs> if it does get scrubbed, they need then a 72 hour window before they try again. That's the rule. And so it couldn't happen again before Tuesday. That would be their next window at it. Then it's September 19th if that doesn't work. And the end of this launch window is early October. So if they don't get it out of here by October, we're going to have to hold off for a while. So this rocket, as we know, it's been under a lot of scrutiny, over budget long delayed right. to take place. This is high stakes for the folks at NASA right now. If it's not able, if they're not able to go ahead with this, what kind of a setback is that for NASA, given all the private enterprise in this industry? Well, Peter, I mean, I think the real setback that NASA would be worried about is us here not talking about weather or scrubs or the rest of it, but talking about something bigger, right? If something went wrong with this rocket, I mean, you have to keep in mind, right, these rocket engines, I mean, they, they go from zero to 17,000 miles an hour in eight and a half seconds. They are just a big can of go and you don't want anything going wrong with it. And you also have to think, you talk about budgets and delays, and I agree with all of that, but you also think about the ambitions of this. We're talking about putting people back on the moon on a whole new part of the moon we've never been to before. You could conceivably get there and find water. You could then use that water to fuel a new set of rockets that would go from a space station going around the moon on to Mars. Oh. At this point, I think NASA is pretty happy to be just sitting here talking about the weather, talking about scrubs, in order to keep their eyes on this long-term goal, you guys. That puts it in perspective, doesn't yes. it? Yes, it makes it contagious. Good stuff. <laughs> All right, thank you. We're going to let you go because we don't want you to miss uh, I got to go. <laughs> Appreciate it. Right. Thank, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.